stay live. It is Saturday the 24th of April and I'm here to make a card for my sister. Now the title is as it's shown because um just to make sure she doesn't watch because she's on YouTube as well. So thank you for joining me and for watching. I've got a kind of vague idea what I want to do today but it's very much going to be just see what happens and develops. So I've got some new product on my table that is due to come out on uh, live to all customers on May the 4th and uh, it's a stamp set called Days to Remember. Um, I've got Flowers of Friendship which has a matching punch so you can cut out some of the flower shapes and I've also got off to the side here some die cuts that I've used from the Quiet Meadow Suite. So just trying to kind of have a nice floral eclectic mix of things and I've chosen some colours that I thought Ruth would like which is I've got Petal Pink soft sea foam and smoky slate um why is my chat not showing up on my other device ah there we go good okay let's just sort it out so that i can see my other screen a bit better sometimes you just have to change the quality of the picture so you can see what I'm doing. Good morning, good afternoon, hi all. Okay, let's get stuck straight into this. I'm gonna grab out a piece of a blank card. Now my blank bases tend to be three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, um, just so that I've got a nice colored border if I wish to have one. So scary blank canvas, which we are now going to add some color to. So I want lots of colors and textures going on on this card. And so to start with, to just get rid of that blank space a bit, I'm going to, I think this pink colour might be a bit bright, let's have a look. I wanted to put a bit of pink in the background. Let's have a look. Mm, I wonder whether to use a stronger pink. with the plan. <laughs> hello everybody coming in, it's lovely to see you all. Um, I will say hello in just a second, I'm just going to get this ball rolling as it were. Okay, so I'm going to rub my brush in the petal pink. This brush has had other colours as you can see on it, so I'm just going to brush it off to the side first and then onto my Work. Now this is just to create a background colour. I don't want lots of colour, I just want to add some texture. Okay, I think that will do. Now I do want to emboss this, so I'm going to do all the kind of inking first and then I'm going to run it through my machine. Sorry, that it's very distracting when my picture quality is not great on my other screen it keeps putting me off okay um so what i could really do is oops did i just pull the wire i'm sorry i'm gonna bring on the quiet meadow stamp set for dotage obviously gotta have a bit of dotage and this has got this nice scripty stamp as well now, I don't know whether to just build on this or to... Yes, let's do that. <laughs> build on this and then... <laughs> Talk, talking in my own head. So I had there's sort of two different ideas, whether to build up the coloured paper on here, but I think I'll actually use this and then mount it onto another card. That will be the greater plan. Okay, let's find... I thought I was organised. Okay, let's say hello to everybody in the meantime. Good afternoon, Joanna. Good morning, Deborah. Hi, Tashana. Lovely to see you. Hey, Deborah and Sheila, Janice, April, Denise, and Tracy. So I'm going to use a smoky slate. 
Now let's just see, I do think this ink pad is very inky tonight, so I can get away with going in with the first impression of ink. Well, let's carry on with that one. This just helps to break up the page. You don't want, you know, just building on that texture in the background. And then adding in, but of course, got to have a bit of dotage. If you watch Ruth over at Artful Stamping, you'll see that she loves this kind of splatter stamp. I'm trying to, I think I've lost a block somewhere along the line. I use this big one. Um, let's go soft sea foam. Sunny but bitterly cold, says Audrey. Ah, oh, I'm quite I'm sort of warming up here in the craft room. It's windy outside, got two loads of washing out. Um, but yeah, I'm rather warm at the moment. So just thinking about the direction in which things are going on this card. Keep on building up that texture and layers. Yes, it's gorgeous stamp set, Joanna, and the I've just photocopied the dies so that I can put them back in an order. <laughs> but these are the dies which I'll, I'm hoping to use in a minute too. Okay, we'll stop there for the... Oh, I tell you what I was going to do. I did want to put a bit of... That's all right, no, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, my, my brain is working overtime. I'm on a bit of a time limit as well, so that's the other thing I'm conscious about. Right, let's bring you up and... Now, I've borrowed this textured... I don't know what you call it, textured paint embossing folder, I guess, off a friend, and this is the first time I'm going to use it. So let's bring in the... Now, I think this is a rather thick folder, so you open up your folder, place your paper in, and I'm thinking this is probably not going to need... I'm just going to have to... I can't remember which is which. No, that's going through. Um, I'm guessing it might be... Number four. Yep, that's cranking through. Don't force it. If it's not going through, then don't force it. You might have the wrong set of platforms for doing your work. So just be mindful of that. Let's see what we've got. I hope everyone's well this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are. Oh, wow, that is fun, isn't it? It's got this really bold, kind of pasty painted. So I think I want to add some gold to this because it's just asking to be stepped up. Um, might bring on my stencils as well. Don't know, just you know, again, just thinking out loud. So that noise is my heat tool, which I'm just warming up. Need some more spice on my desk. I'm encroaching on me. Okay, let's have a look. So, I wanted to put a bit of gold on this, so I'm just going to swipe, <laughs> swipe it away, brushing over the versa mark. Now, I don't know how much is stuck and not, so we'll soon find out. I've got this card that I've labelled embossing powder so that I can just bring it out anytime I want to do my embossing. And we're looking for the heat and stick powder, which 
will hopefully stick to where I've just applied the verse mark. Now, I don't want it obviously everywhere on the card, I just want it in certain spaces. Because it's about building up those layers and textures. <coughs> Deborah, it does look like handmade paper. Yes, that's a good point. Now, you might want to just turn down the volume on your microphones because I'm just going to give it a blast. So the powder melts and it turns into a tacky surface and it melts quicker than it would with embossing powders. So let's move this out of the way. So that's nice and tacky. Hello Joe. nice to see you. I've already got some gold gilded flakes in my box so I might as well just use up what's in the box because there's plenty here to be getting on with. So it'll be interesting now to see what sticks where. I'm just going to rub on those gold gilding flakes. Now somewhere I had a sponge. And here is said sponge. <laughs> right, don't laugh. Nobody make me laugh. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can I get a wow? That is so cool. Love it. Nobody breathe. Or else the flakes go everywhere. <gasps> that is stunning, even if I do say so myself. Wowzers. Thank you, Deborah. Got a wow from Deborah. If you like this, ladies and gentlemen, you can always do a thumbs up on the old video. Just saying. Do it afterwards. Don't do it now. Okay, good. This is this is coming together. That's just made it stepped it up a bit. Okay. I got a wow from Janice. I'm gonna use my these are an older pair of scissors. Um, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna run this along the edge. Because I'm a visual, 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 a visual, visual person, I need to kind of just do things as I go along and not miss steps. So I know that I wanted this distressed look on the side, but I can't wait. I need to do it now because I need to see what it looks like. It helps me in my crafting. <laughs> so I'm just using the blade of the scissors to run down the edge of the card. And this just breaks those fibres and makes it really bumpy and gives it a distressed, torn look. I've got a wow face from Joanna. <laughs> Hi there, Claire. Okay, and then we ju I'm just going to see if I can encourage the paper to just sort of curl over a little bit around the edges. Not just give it again, just get that texture in there. So let's try and just clear my surface a bit. I could do with one of those little mini, you get some really cute vacuum cleaners like a, a little ladybird or ladybug. I might have to invest in one of those. Right, so this is what we've got so far. We've stamped it, we've embossed it and we've gold gilded it. I'm going to throw the treatment at it today. Okay, so I definitely I did want to add the calendar stamp, and I've got some pre-cut dies here as well. So I did just this is May, but I wonder whether to do and. Let's go for it. We'll do an April one and then we'll decide whether we're going to use it or not. Um, 
I need. Okay, so um, I need to check a calendar. So let me just grab my phone. So April 1st starts on a Thursday. April the 1st starts on the Thursday. So where's my grey? I think we'll go... Yeah, we'll go grey. So in order to stamp this stamp, you get your numbers and they're one whole stamp okay they're one whole stamp then you find your whether you want to oh, what does the week start at on that calendar that starts on a monday so i'll just stick to that to make my life easier so you can either have a week that starts on a Sunday or a week that starts on a Monday. So my calendar starts on the Monday, so I'm going to peel this one. Is it going to fit on this block? Not quite. <laughs> They're usually quite good and design their blocks so it will fit on. Oh, let's go petal pink for the for the days of the week. So you stamp your days of the week, Monday to Sunday. Then what did I say? Did I say it started on Thursday? So when you look in your on your calendar. You find the first and you want it lined up with the Thursday. So when I come to ink this, I'm going to ink from the fifth to the fourth. Okay, so I can put it in my ink and I'm going to stamp from the fifth to the fourth. And it will lay down in the ink it's spaced out enough so you can ink up those separate numbers now i can go back line up the first of april with the thursday yes it inks the 31st as well there you go and so here's another example. If you're doing May, which starts on the Saturday, you would line it up so that the number one starts on the Saturday. Okay? So really, really clever set. Very clever in my opinion. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> and uh, somebody was trying to explain to me how to do it and I, I couldn't quite get it. But when you actually do it, you're like, ah, I understand now. Now, you've got a choice of highlighting your date in these little things that come in with it. We've got a drawn, um, April only has 30 days. Now, she's, is that what she was trying to tell me? So I needed to have rubbed out the 31st. Okay, thank you. Let's just do it again quickly now that we know what we're doing. Thank you so much, Deborah. Didn't even think about that. But somebody was bound to notice, so I will do it again. So while I stamp this, decide whether you want the, the date highlighted in a flower, star, circle or heart. I'm thinking maybe the flower or the, the circle-y one. So let me know. Uh, flower or circle? Your typing is faulty. So is my card making. <laughs> the fourth. So let's try that again. Thank you for that. So just watch out on your dates. Make sure it has got 31st or not. And if it hasn't got the 31st, easy to sort out. Just get your chamois or a tissue or a something just to clean that away. Like so. 
And then I'm going in again. I'm going in. Yes, it's for Ruth. So you think keep the flower theme. Okay, came out a bit faint then because I think I smudged a bit, but Oh, I'm sorry, I can't I can't be doing with that, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I think I need to re-ink my pad. Make sure I've got plenty of ink. Take three. Take three is usually the one that works. Oops. Oh, Esther. What are you doing? I smudged, so I'm just... One saying the flower. Take off the thirty first. I'm just going to give it a give it a hug. That kind of reignites the ink. Not re wrong word. Just gives it the moisture it needs again. That's better. Okay, I'm happy now. Okay, we can move on now, people. <laughs> I better use this on the card now after all this. <laughs> there we go. Right, a little flower in here. It's very cute. It's this one here. And we're going to highlight it in the soft sea fern. Her birthday is on the 27th. Right. If, 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 oh, I could use one of these for fit. Hmm, I'm slightly off, aren't I? Should have worked on the middle of the page. Okay, that's okay. Plan B. Let's cut this out. Who's knocking over there? Who's knocking? Give this a bit of distressing. It's too neat and tidy. Just give it a blush of pink. Okay. So we've got our date that we might use. <laughs> <laughs> and then so I've got all these cutouts here I've of course got butterflies which I thought would feature which are rather cute and We've got these lovely. I wonder about keeping these white. Just have these built up. What do we think? That looks really classy. I like the look of that. So this idea has completely changed from what I thought it was going to look like, but that's okay. Um, I might have this little tag. I like this tag. I'll decide what it's going to... Oh, it's your day. Happy birthday. 
it's not going to fit on. Um, we could have April on there. What if the word April would fit on? It'd fit on at an angle. That could be quite cute. Should we do that? Need a bit more green in this, I think. But, um, Don't cover your date or put the date on the tag. I think I'm, I don't mind the date peeking through like that. Have it nice and subtle. Sorry, I'm off screen. I'll just drag you back in there. <laughs> so have that on there like that. Okay, this is coming together. It's definitely need more green. So let's have a look. I want to see what this looks like on a no. I want it on white. I think I don't have any white to cut up. Why do I not have white card cut up? Let's have a look. I'll just nick one of those ones. Oh yes, white on white. Yes, this is for Ruth. Yes. So um definitely want a bit more green in it. So I don't have any might get some might maybe sponge the butterflies with a bit of green. I think I'll do that. I don't want lots of green, but just needs that colour because I've got the colour on the the dates at the bottom and we've got the a hint of green in the dots at the back um i do want to incorporate green more but not it's an accent color it doesn't need to take over so i've got my scrap paper here i'm just going to go on the edges of the butterfly wings So if you want to refer back to this video, you can actually share it straight onto Pinterest. Or if you've got a crafty group that you're part of and you think they might like this or would enjoy seeing the stamps that you used or some new product. Are you off, Deborah? Take care, lovey. Thank you for joining. Too much white for not covering up the date. What did you mean, Debbie? And of course, I'll add a bit of sparkles. Don't worry if you're late, Barbie. You're welcome anytime. There we go. Hey, Christine. So I've got a bit of green now on the flowers, okay. Right. I might use some of this baker's new baker's twine as well. Have a think about that one. Okay, let's bring our card back. And I think we'll better get stuck in. Uh, I wanted to send her a card, but I passed on her, but I arrived. Oh, no. Just message it to me. Yeah, Heidi, can you send me an email? And I will give you her new address. I want to layer these up. Otherwise, I'll come off here and I'll probably forget. So... Do not cover up the date with flowers. I don't mind, I want it sort of peeking through. I don't want it completely standing out. So um, I won't cover, I, I don't mind the, the April the 17th kind of peeking through a little bit, but um, I don't want that to be the sole um, focus of the card. So. <coughs> Mm. 
going to come right to the edge here. I'm just going to do blobs of glue on the main bits. It's quite nice to have a bit of movement when things aren't completely stuck down. And I'm going to overlap the flowers because it's nice to sort of show as if they're in a like a field of flowers. I might have this one bending over because that, that goes nicely with the let's figure out where we're going to put this. I don't know whether to have it at an angle. Angle, angle, angle. Where's my butterflies gone? I think I have to have it at an angle at the way this is. Let's draw you out a bit. So I'm going to have, you want the date showing, don't you? I know. So I'm going to put a tiny dab of glue on that side and just slip this in here. And then I'm tempted to, I'm going to pull off, just tear off she says, that bit on the back because you just lose all that. So I'm going to extend it like that, as if it's coming at the top. I have to ask, in the UK, do you start your calendars on Monday? Uh, it varies, to be honest. Um, I prefer <laughs> calendars starting on the Sunday, because I think it's the start of the week. But um, we do get both here, and that was just on my Google calendar that I just looked just now. So... Um, I think it does vary actually. I need to I need to check my main calendar. So I want to put a little tag around this. An actual tag. Giving myself plenty of baker's twine so that I've got enough to tie if I need to. You've only ever seen them start on a Sunday, that's interesting. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't be working it out on a live when it, if it started on a Sunday, what I needed to do to move all the numbers across. I was a bit, being a bit lazy with it. So I've, I've threaded it through this tiny tag and I'm going to do a little bow. If it will let me. No, start that bow again. <laughs> start days really do vary. Some people say Sunday, some people say Monday. I suppose a working week starts on Monday. But like I said, I think I prefer it for the idea of it starting on a Sunday. Okay, let's I wonder if I can curl this or not. Oh, it does it a little bit. Okay, good. Right, let's stick these down first. So this is multi-purpose liquid glue. And as it says in its name, it's liquid. But you can spread it where you like and dot it and it gives you a chance to just get your project in position rather than going ahead and sticking something and going no it wasn't meant to be there we're going to come down a touch i don't want this overlapping too much off my card so i'm gonna Let's go for the stick. Let's 
snip that stem off now. I think I'm going to have that flat. Yes, let's stick that flat. And then I want the butterflies to be the thing that pops up. Going to get our little... <laughs> Sorry, I had gilding flakes on my watch. Going to roll this over. It's just a little glue dot. Now going to have it down at the bottom of the stem there. Everything's moved. <laughs> when you go to stick things, things move where you originally had them, but that's okay. Just have that cute little accent at the bottom there, as if it's sort of like a, I don't know, like a plant growing a calendar. I missed the beginning. Is this for Ruth's birthday? Yes, this is for Ruth's birthday. So a lot of you watch my sister Ruth over at Artful Stampin'. Oh, I've missed this one out. I could put it there. Let's have a look. Her birthday is on Tuesday, the 27th of April. Should we have that extending there? Let's. Might as well use it. Because it tucked in so nicely, didn't it? <laughs> In you go again. It actually hides a little boo-boo there because that flower didn't cut very well. Not that you'll notice. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So we'll stick this down, stick the butterflies and find some sparkles. Get lots of glue. And if you still want to send a card and you need her address, just drop me an email. Stampinstarcreations at gmail.com There we go. Just make sure that glue is drying. And then we're going to pop our butterflies. Let's have a think. Want a nice kind of flow on the page, so I think I'll stick them in the middle. Mm, let's have a think. Yep, I think I like them in the middle. <clears throat> and I was going to pop these up. The only thing I'm going to pop up. I'm going to put these on dimensionals. Oh, this little. Should we pop up the little calendar? The little tag, rather. Let's do that while we're here. So it's interesting, isn't it, that I didn't think that white was going to be the dominant colour in this card today. But that's how it um, ended up turning out. I was going to have a lot more of the greens and the pinks, but sometimes it's just nice to let the white shine through and speak for itself. And let white do the dominant talking. Audrey's got to make a card for her Auntie Sheila for Wednesday. Oh, thank you, Diane. I, I wouldn't say this is my usual style, but uh, there you go. <laughs> and these beautiful die cuts just lend themselves. I want this to be a bit more natural looking. I, I don't want them as if look as if they're plonked on. <laughs> I might double up the wings on this one and do the dies, not the dies, the dimensions at the top of the wings. It's, look, it's very elegant and vintage looking. Thank you, Barbie. Perfect. If it's looking like that, that's great. 
I was I was thinking of various ideas. I was thinking about doing maybe one sheet wonder background, but actually I might save that for my Tuesday evening live actually. I'll let Ruth choose some colours and maybe a stamp set and I'll do a one sheet wonder on Tuesday for my usual live. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Throat. Just clear the old frog out. Alright, let's get some sparkle on this page. Next card. Now, I don't know what I've got in part from. Could hide some white hearts. It's got white hearts. We've got these. We've got, I've got two gold gems which are left. I've ordered some more. I've just got these two left. Which I don't think I can, they're a bit massive to use, so I won't use those. But I do have the gold pearls actually, which are hiding. But they are a different gold, they're more of a matte gold rather than a shiny gold. So I think I'll leave those. I'm wondering about these little hearts, possibly. So let's get sticking with these. Oh, it's a bit like a tortoise, it keeps turning over. So, hmm, let's have a little think. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. And then I want to mix and match a little bit, so we'll add elements. These other ones. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, for my quiverful of the day. Do you have the new ones that have the sage colour in them? Oh, yes, I do, I do. Thank you. Oh, yes, who said that? Heidi, thank you. Yes, I do. I had these put to the side because I need them for something. But yes, definitely, let's add... These are beautiful. Let's just throw the colours on. Got a hint of gold fleck in them as well. Okay, good. I might just, because I think it's really cute, I want to add a little heart in somewhere. Just there. <laughs> Just one heart. <laughs> okay, now. Need this to go in there. Right, let's get this baby finished with a touch of Wink of Stella. So we don't want to overdo Stella. We'll add some to the to the butterflies. Just thought I could have just gone round the rim of the butterfly. Look pretty. Too late. Um, let's highlight the birthday and we'll splatter. Lots of glitz, lots of glam. Right, let's have a look. Can you see the sparkle? Can you see the shine? 
So I think my comments are slightly... I'm a bit delayed because I'm still whacking the pen on the other screen. Tracy says, it reminds of art journaling. Cool. I love it. Look, look at that. Look at the calendar. Can you see the sparkle? I'm so pleased how this has turned out. And I'm hoping, and I'm sure Ruth would, I'm sure Ruth would love whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that one keeps curling over. I'll trim these down a bit. They're a bit long. There. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out. Uh, I need to get it in the post for his birthday. A bit delayed on that one, but anyway. It will get there when it gets there. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been really fun to have your company. And thank you so much for your suggestions. They've been really helpful. And, um, yeah. What else can I say? If you love this product and are interested in getting stamping, then please do check out my shop at stampingstarcreations.co.uk where you can order this product. Um, or if you're interested in knowing more, send, just drop me an email. I'm happy to send out catalogues to the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. So let's turn you around to say hello. Good Saturday afternoon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. And um, hopefully Ruth can catch us up at a later date. Happy birthday, Ruth. <laughs> um, take care, everybody. And hopefully I'll catch you on Tuesday evening when I'm back at nine o'clock for another live. And I, as I said, it'll probably be a... a di oh, Diane. Mm, bless you. Thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. Um, it's absolutely my pleasure as well to share this with you. And thank you for being on the journey. It's amazing how you might have some ideas, but you don't know quite how they're going to turn out until you actually do it on the uh, paper itself. So thank you. I really appreciate all of you, all of you and all of the thumbs up. Um, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Lots of love and enjoy the sun if you're in the UK. Take care and God bless you all. Bye for now. <laughs>